All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, hopefully, you saw my last video, but this is the going to be the last um, video for connective tissue. Um, in my last video, I said we were going to do types of connective tissue, the specifics. So I'm going to put specific um, CTs. So of that branch, I'm sure you don't like these anymore. We're on the specific portion and now we are breaking it down into number one change colors because it's super cool. We have loose C T and then I guess you could say proper because this is the whole proper branch. Oh shoot. Prop What's up with my pen? Okay. And number two. If it's not loose, it's got to be dense. Uh, why is my computer not doing it? Sorry about that. Dense. Oh, shoot. Let's see if... Okay, we're doing all right. For some reason, my pen is lagging, but we have dense CT proper. Um... The biggest difference and how you define these um, is, like I said, remember this thing called ground substance and fibers? So, here we go, getting a little algebraic. Ground substance plus cells. So, basically, all those. They are dun -dun -dun, yellow. Greater than the fibers. And those fibers, to review quickly, are the collagen, um, elastic, and reticular. So loose is ground substance and cells is greater than, I always think of alligator, I don't know why, it likes, it's greater than, um, than the fibers. And with the dense, hopefully you could probably surmise, it is the other way. So fiber, more fibers, and this kind of seems intuitive. Um, dense, so the fibers are more dense than the loose. Hopefully that makes sense. And then there's some characteristics that are derived um, from this. So the loose, because it's loose, it's more vascularized. The pen is not working very well today. Vas Vascularized. Okay. More vascularized and dense is going to be less vascularized than the loose. So now we can go into specifics. Um, hopefully you guys got that. So fluid supporting CT proper. From CT proper we have loose and we have dense. And from those we have specifics. So, I'm going to go into loose first. Um, so, we're under loose. Oh, goodness. Loose. So, the first type of loose is called areolar. Areolar CT. So, this is a specific type of CT. I didn't go over cells. Um, if you guys want, I can go over cells. There's like eight of them or so. Um, you can look them up in your book and you can pretty much figure it out. So what this stuff is, is once again, loose has more ground substance and cells over fibers and is well vascularized and you see this everywhere in the body. Areolar CT, kind of a catch-all if you guys just Google it and you can kind of check it out um, under histology. Also a plug, shotgun histology in YouTube. You can find any histology. goes over the, the guy's an ace. Helped me a lot. Um, so the function of these is, I should switch color, too much pink, is um, kind of to bind things together. It's kind of like a body's catch-all binding, and it's kind of a web-like structure. I think of spider webs. Web, I don't know if I can draw a spider web. I do maybe one, here we go. Spider web. Um, <laughs> But in serious, uh, 
you're going to see this is going to be, say, your aorta. And you're going to see this stuff. Hopefully, if you're in anatomy class, you get to do a dissection and stuff. But this is going to be the areolar CT. So it binds kind of everything. It keeps the blood vessels together. It just holds catch-all everything. Um, and uh, since it is vascularized, why? Come on, vascularized. Then it has metabolic support. So, so both physical. I'm sorry, plus metabolic support. And that is all you need to know about areolar. Um, it has all three fiber types, um, elastic, uh, collagen, and reticular, even though you can't really distinguish it. Next type is, <clears throat> here we go, do -do -do, adipose CT. Um, adipose, adipose tissue, if you've heard of that, is essentially fat cells. So, fat. So, if you eat all those donuts, it's going to go straight to your gut and or thighs, so I would not suggest it. Um, so, it's cells, and they're close together under the histology microscope. You'll see basically what look like empty cells kind of around it. And this is because in most of the stains, um, lipid is washed out. So all that's left is kind of the remainder of it. Won't see anything. Um, and I guess we can go into function. Yeah, sure, why not? Function. Hopefully you guys have been picking up. That means function. Um, now you can think about, let's see, what does fat do? Well, that's kind of what I think. Adipose CT is essentially a fat. Um, so one is to store energy. Uh, it's kind of a long term. Energy storage. Uh, I guess you could say padding. Uh, so um, talk about visceral fat later, but basically these little grant are they and in real life cadaver is kinda gross. It looks kinda like kernels of corn. Um, you guys will see and it's kind of gnarly. But, let's say this is your, uh, what does that look like, what am I, giant kidney? Um, then there's this fat kind of all surrounding it, just kind of to keep it cushioned, like a pad. It's actually called perirenal fat. Um, and that's adipose CT. And the third one function is, I this really didn't come to me, but it's now seems to be quite true, is insulation. Um, so, A-T-I-O-N-R, -I. can't keep up with me, I'm going to have to see what's going on here, <clears throat> but insulation, so to keep you warm, um, whales have a lot of this, I would hope, because they live in the sea and stuff like that, so that's adipose CT, um, the third and last of the loose, it's kind of one of my favorites, is the reticular, so I talk about reticular fibers, but now we have reticular CT. Reticular CT. I'm just going to have to slow down my writing because it doesn't work. Um, so I told, talked about this last time. Um, I don't know if I was technically right, but this forms the whole, the whole CT in general is made up of those branching fibers. Hopefully you remember this diagram. And, um, yeah, if you guys like this style, uh, make sure to tell me in the comments. Uh, this has worked for me, just drawing it out. I don't know if you guys like this or not. Hopefully you do. That's why you're watching. Um, but basically, this whole network of reticular fibers is called a reticular CT. And it makes the, once again, stroma. So the, basically, framework work. Oh, Jesus. 
swear I'm not touching anything. Framework. Okay. Maybe it's I'm holding the pen too. Hello. So it's the framework. So that's reticular. Um, forms a network. So once again, I like the kidney. So treat your kidneys correctly. So it kind of forms up the whole network. The reticular CT. Um, doesn't have the other fiber types in it, I don't believe. Um, so there's your three loose. And be sure to know, remember that these loose, um, they are vascularized, so they have metabolic support functions as well. <clears throat> now we can switch to red. Now we're going to dent. This is my 